All right, uh, day two. Uh, wanted to try to get a good velocity and uh, just shot the 22, and uh, that's what we got. And now I just decided to set the block and shoot this again um, and uh, try to get a velocity. So I'm just going to shoot the 22 again just to confirm everything's good. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay. And she's working. So I think it was just the angle of the sun wasn't good. It was a lot lower last time. It was later in the day. And uh, let's see what that 22 did just because we can. Uh, I can't quite tell. Unless that's it, it right there. Well, if I dig it apart, I'll take a look at that. Anyways, not what we're here for. So, I'm going to go ahead and load up the 10 mil and do this test. Uh, just make this a little more interesting. Uh, put up a, a barrier here. We got the leftover piece of a 2x4. Just to see, this is hard cast. So, this is kind of, you know, what you want to be interested in to see if it's going to possibly penetrate bone we're looking at inch and a half there it's two by four that's what you get nowadays um so let's go ahead and do it There we go. And there we go. We got a velocity for you. So at a six inch barrel, should be uh, 1300 out of a five inch, but at a six inch, we're getting 1245. Not too bad, actually, considering uh, chronographies before. Okay, let's see what we did to the block. Got the two by four right there. Took a big chunk out the back. And wow, it penetrated fully, which is pretty impressive. Penetrated the two by four, penetrated fully through the block. Wow. That's not bad. Let's see if I can't find that. So let me uh, shut this off, look around. All right, could not locate that uh, round, fortunately. Uh, gonna go ahead and uh, take another shot. This time we're gonna step it up for a barrier here. See if we can't stop this thing. Uh, we're gonna look at this. Uh, this is a four by six or something. So we're looking at uh, just under three and a half inches in uh, thickness. So we're gonna take a last shot and uh, put it over this. Straight up, straight up the chrono. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, I pulled it, but we got a velocity 12.23, and let's look at what we did. She might have stopped in the, this thing. This is a pretty thick piece of wood, and, uh, Looks like she she stopped it right there. So no exit, nothing. So well, it's a little anticlimactic, but uh, that's fine. So let's move on to the hand load. Uh, it's gonna be 
8.4 grains of 800X with a 204 grain uh, cast lead, not hard cast. Let's see how that does. All right, 8.4 grains, 800X. We're gonna shoot this uh, two by four first. So we're comparing apples to apples. Shit. And we got 1300 feet per second even. Clearly, we got to pass through that block, and it looks like it dug into this uh, pressure treated 4x6. I don't see it on the table anywhere. All right, now we'll move up to this uh, four by six and see what we can do with this. See if we can get something to pass through. And uh, nothing went bang. So it looks like we got a failure to feed, and that's because we had a failure to eject. Let's see if we look, we have a round in there, so it didn't fail to strip the round. I'm gonna fix this. All right, all set. All right, 1356. That's more of a, what we, we ought to be getting. Take a look. And uh, we cracked the board. So we didn't make it through, but I'd say we did a pretty good try there. And we cracked her. So. Here we are. So more or less. Uh, I don't think it's that criminal. Considering. But. We were told we are getting 1300 feet per second. Which we clearly aren't out of this six inch barrel when we have a it says we should be doing that out of a five inch so i'd say uh definitely pass on these uh this double tap stuff i i shot this box uh, a long time i kind of knew it was going to perform uh poorly i shot it uh, a long time ago when it was fresh it actually performed worse when it was this is an older box of ammo it's actually doing better today than it did when I bought it. When I bought it, it was, I mean, I thought it was, I remember it being much worse, like, I don't know, something like 1,100 feet per second. But that might have been out of the factory barrel, which is a 4.6 inch. So we got, uh, well, what is it, you know, 1,250 at the top for for this, if I remember what the chronograph was saying. Um, so, you know, 50 feet per second less. But that, you know, we had a six inch barrel with a little bit of hand loading. We got, you know, something that was much closer, if not, you know, what the factory should have been. And, uh, you know, I, I just whooped that up in two seconds and, you know, you might, you might be able to do a bit better. So 
I I'm pretty disappointed in the double tap stuff, and uh, you know it even did better than I thought it would today. But I would definitely stay far away from it. And uh, I mean they're they're great looking rounds and everything, but um, they're not getting what they're advertising. And uh, you know I, I don't like that. So anyways, take it for what it's worth. And um, yeah, that's that. So I got that uh, piece of wood inside and did a little bit of digging and found those bullets that we shot directly into it. Just wanted to get some depths so you can see the non-hard cast deformed a lot more. It was going faster as well. And looking at the tip of it was at two and... Almost two and seven eighths, pretty much. So we're right to the edge of it to there. So maybe two and three quarters. This guy hooked on the edge. We're just about two and five eighths, roughly. Um, so this hard cast is already popping out. See the damage on it. It definitely did some damage to itself going through there. And I have yet to dig this out, so let's do that right now. We can. She's just falling apart. She's just falling apart. Barely see the lube grew there. That's fucking pancaked. So, you can see a lot of bullet fragments left over. Over here, we have a pretty... This is the hard cast that traveled all the way through the block. Almost 16 inches of gel. And then lodged it in here. And it still went, um, what is that? That's hard to get this straight number on here. Is that, yeah, almost seven eighths of an inch in here. We'll dig that bad boy out. You can see the lube grooves are, oops, there are lube grooves are visible. See the brunt of it did not deform nearly as much. Now you can see they gas check these, which is really nice. Um, which of course the cast lead that I was shooting was not gas checked, so it's just. You know, these are definitely really nice bullets they're using. I'll well. give them that. Wish I could uh, take these and use them um, or just get a supply of these myself. But anyhow, let's go ahead and weigh these. Come over to the scale. Alright, we're zeroed out. To be um, double tap 200 grain that passed through the block. We're sitting at 197.8. And then this is double tap shot directly into the wood. This is 168. Point three, and this is cast lead 
shot um, straight into the wood. This is 176.5. So, huh, actually retained more. <laughs> That's crazy. That retained more weight, even though it deformed way more. Retained more. And this one was again, uh, yeah. So that is a 200 grain bullet. I mean, they weren't lying about the weight. And just to see what I've got. This is what the bullet originally looked like. And that is a, well, this one was 202 grains, but they range about, from that to about 206, average about two, 204. But that's what that bullet looked like before it got all fucked up. Just the cast lead. Um, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. So takeaways for me are double tap definitely embellishes their velocities. And um, the non hard cast is not so bad. So uh, the form's a whole lot, but unless you're shooting. Uh, deer wearing body armor. I wouldn't worry about it. 